Greetings! I am everywhere today. I have got a lot going on, and I'm trying to maintain my last remaining shreds of sanity while I get through this. But, I have a lot of videos to record today, and I kind of want to put some makeup on, and I got some exciting things in the mail. So I figured I might as well just do a traditional chatty get ready with me um, while I pour out my woes to you. So, if you have any getting readying to do, feel free to pull up your shit, maybe paint your face while I am painting my face. First of all, this perfume is fucking amazing. I got an order from Hexanacht which, um, they had a series of what they're calling Dearly Departing, so I got a lot of their perfumes, and I'm currently wearing, do I still have it here, or did I put it away? No, I put it away, because I'm trying to somehow channel my mess of chaos around me, and it's not working very well. Anyway, I'm wearing Bordello of Blood, and it smells like an incense delightful, just magical place, magical dark place. It's very sweet as well, and it's just really, really fantastic. But that one, I'm not doing a total review on those because they're discontinuing, but all I'm going to say is if you are wanting some nice, smelly, goody bits, you have until September 15th to get them. So anyway, it's just distracting because it's very strong and it's very nice around me. So I don't know what the hell to do with my lighting. I don't even know if I'm anywhere in focus. I've got my air conditioner in the background. Maybe my sound editing software will get rid of it, but I don't have my glasses, so I can't really see what's going on in the camera. But anyway, I'm going to start off with my base band, which probably is not a great idea. Well, yeah, no, I'm going to do eyes first because I'm not sure. This is my first time trying sugar pill. And this fun size palette I just absolutely had to get. And these nice, they're like pastel neons if I was ever to describe them. So I had to get this palette because, especially because it's got their cat, their little mascot cat on there. Dumpster cat turkey. Um, and this is the first time I'm trying sugar pills, so I don't know what they're like. It's just I've heard so much good things about them. Um, about their pigmentation and stuff like that, and when I saw this, I was attracted to this color, Game Over, because I thought it was a true red, and when my stupid ass read the direction, or read the descriptions after, and it's not a true red, so I made another order and bit the bullet and bought Love Plus instead, or as well, because I needed a true red that is really good. So, I'm hoping this lives up to the hype. This is going to be like a first impressions, I guess, because I'm going to do a few more looks with this, and we'll just see how it happens. I really don't know what I want to do, because I just my eyes just keep moving to the colors about what I want to do. I really like the cool tones. I really like the warm tones. I'm kind of thinking... I'm kind of thinking the top row looks really good. So I might just incorporate those three colors somehow. I don't know how, but I'm going to do it. I don't know. I think I'm just going to do something simple. And we'll see what goes on from there. First, I'm going to prime my eyes. And I threw out my white eye base, which kind of sucks because I was like, yeah, this is ancient and it's just crusty and gross and I should throw it out. But I didn't replace it either. So I need to get that. So in the meantime, I'm just sticking with primer potion. And while I'm doing this, I'm going to kind of test out durability and all that bullshit. So, I don't even know what's going on here. I'm pretty much the hunchback of Notre Dame right now. Uh, yeah. So, while all that is going ha happening and all that shit's going on in my life, I'm going in and out of doctor's appointments. I'm thinking I'm kind of getting closer to some kind of resolution. I don't know. I'm just very tired. I'm running in and out of places, and I'm trying to get this book set up, which I did just launch the book trailer on Sunday. And if you haven't watched that, please do watch that, because it claimed so much of the remaining shreds of my sanity to get that created, and I think it looks good, but... Actually, no, I don't think it looks good, because I'm an artist, and I'm very critical on myself. So, take a look at that. I'll leave a link 
somewhere. I will have more information on the launch itself. So, I think that will be coming Thursday anyway, because I'm recording it now, too. So, and that all being said, I am getting ready for fall, which I am stupid excited for, because everything is starting to get hype. Um, yeah, like all of the craft shows, or the craft stores, and the... Um, craft stores are pretty much getting their Halloween stuff in in already in like August, and I was all up for it, and I already spent a bunch of money. I'm not sure if you can see my new shit. I've got a lot of shit going on, and when I do that, ooh, I'm probably gonna put that in my Octoberine video, so you'll have like a a nice tour of the new spooky things that I bought. And speaking of October Ween, oh yeah, this really, ooh, oh, that's nice, but it does need a white base to show up some color. Mm. I like, I like how that, it's not very powdery either. This is nice. Hell yeah. Oh, uh, where was I going? Oh yeah, October Ween, I'm going to have that video up in October. And I want to run by some things for you guys, because I'm not sure what exactly I want to do. I know what I'm doing for jewelry on both the main channel and the Patreon. Oh, God, this is pretty. Shit. Um, it's just, I don't know what to do for, like, the other bits. I was toying with the idea of doing a live stream where I paint my nails spooky and record the rest of my videos with those because I am getting them I am getting them professionally done later in preparation for a wedding. Oh god, this is just behaves so nicely. Um so if you want to like just have a nice chit chat around live while I'm painting my nails, let me know. Um I also thought about the snack times with Odin. Uh if I should do them like live as well, maybe. I don't know what your thoughts are that. I know you guys like live streams, but they're kind of hard for me to schedule, and... Oh, shit, that payout. God. Uh, yeah, so what are your thoughts on live streaming a manicure, just to, like, maybe you can do your manicure as well? I don't know how to set that up. Oh my god, this is just so nice. Like, even without the fucking white base, this is just... Real nice. Real easy to pack. God, it behaves so nicely. Let's see what happens to my hoods when I wear this later. But, anyway. I have some delightful plans going on for BD tutorials. Yep, and today I'm recording some snack times. Which I have Bob Ross energy drink. Which is just fucking weird to me. I like it, but I kind of need something, like, white to brush over it. Do I have a white mat? God. But, yeah. That is pretty much the extent of what's going on. I am wondering what sort of Octoberween thingies you would like to see. Uh, traditionally, I do... A lot of tastings, really. I do a lot of, like, the fall tastings and other randomy bullshit. I don't know. What y'all feeling? What are your Halloween plans, anyway? Like, do you have anything for fall to do? What are you doing? Let me know, because I'm actually, might actually be doing something for Halloween this year, which is weird for me. I am going out to eat. And I am going to maybe get a lobster, because that is always a good thing to do. I am... God, that blends so well with each other, too. Yep, I'm going that. I'm going back to that cemetery for their little um, shows that they put on. 
the cemetery that I go that I'm going to is just a really cool historical site. And yeah. And then yeah. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm not doing anything too too fancy because I've got a wedding to go to that same weekend, which is kind of a bummer. But, you know, I'm doing the bride's makeup. It's not going to look like this. I'm actually doing neutral. Odin can do neutrals, in case you were wondering. So, yeah. Doing that for her. Um, I kind of want to put this on. Just to see what it's like. Pretty. Other than that, it's me rushing around, running around with my head cut off. Trying to get this book finished. So, I'm very excited, but I'm also very tired. My plants are doing pretty well. I don't know if anybody's following me on my plant sagas. Um, I'm going to be doing a lot of blog posts upcoming. I've got at least three going on. So... I'm going to be talking more about my plants because I just, I keep buying shit for my plants. It's an addiction. I have a problem. I bought a carnivorous plant that I've always wanted. I bought a butterwort. And it actually is doing pretty well, despite how cold it is up here. It just likes humidity, apparently. And I had to desensitize it, like, um, acclimate it. Like a fish, pretty much. I had to put it, uh, I put it... I was a dumbass, and I didn't read the directions first, but I put it in a jar. I put it in the pot, in a jar, where it's going to be, the, one of the terrariums I bought. And I um, put plastic wrap over the containers, and then I poked, started poking holes randomly on it, and it's doing really well. I'll show you when I get into the... Um, When I get more into it. Sorry, my brain is just weird. I'm switching medications, and I'm just in a weird headspace. So, yeah. Do I want to do brights? No, I'm cool-toned, so I'm going to do... God, these colors are good! Um, I don't know why it's taking me so long to buy from Trigger Pill, man. They're a little bit more on the pricier side, but... Damn, it's worth it. Let's just hope it lasts through my hoods, because that is the ultimate test. And this is Strobe Cosmetics. I think it's like... No, that's not Sea of Ghosts. I don't remember. But it's pretty... Well, I'm not in the inner corner. Good. Now we're done with the eyeshadows. As far as I know. Though I do want to break into this. Let's break into this just to see what it looks like. Oh, that pen is huge! Okay. So, that there is a reason for the high price. Because, holy balls. And that will last me about a week, because I like red. Oh. Yes! Oh my god. Ah! Oh, look at that! Oh my god! True red! Pigmentation, holy balls. That is awesome. I'm going to put that in one of these. There's no room in there. Magnetic palette. There you go. Jeez, look at that. <laughs> Compared to the rest of mine. That's the largest one I have. That's like a blush pan. Oh, that's so good. And oh, I'm excited. We'll try that sometime. Probably Halloween. No, no, if I decide to get my face fucked or not, but highly recommend so far. I will let you know in the full review if I like the formula and what it does in my hooded flappy lids, but it's not right now, it's not bunching in my saggy folds, which is really cool. So, nice. Whoo, that's got some staying power, though. Which is both good and bad. I mean, oh. So one of the things that just really irks me with a lot of cosmetic companies, and I know they have to do it for legal purposes, but... 
when they mark it as a pressed pigment versus an eyeshadows. NYX is infamous for this, and um, especially with the glitters. Like, I don't know if you know about the gl the pressed glitters that they have. Those aren't marketed as eye safe. And when they put them in palettes like this, it's like, well, what are you going to do? Like, of course you're going to put them on your eyes because that's what everything else is meant for. You bought an eyeshadow. But they're not classified as, as eye safe, which doesn't necessarily mean it's bad because one of the things for... One of the guidelines for it not being eye safe is that um, it stains, which... You know, not necessarily a bad thing, but is that the only thing that is wrong with it? And it's just, it's very tiring to have to navigate through morals and ethics in your makeup when you just want shit without, you know, having to suffer or cause suffering. So it's like, I don't know. I, you would think that People would have the public's best interest in mind, but they don't. It's all money, and it's really frustrating, but what are you going to do? You can only be so choosy with your money. And yeah, that's my soapbox. I will get off that now. Oh, another purchase I made was some nail stamping plates, which if I do that uh, live stream, you might see more of because I'm going to really want to use them. Um, yeah, I kind of went a little overboard. And the I bought one of the Maniology boxes that came with hollow stamping polish, as well as the theme of the plates was witches. And I also got one of these, which I'm not using for nail art because it's very thin and very nice. And you can kind of see I got this brush, and it's very cute, and it has little sparkly bits in it, but it's really thin and good for, like, gel eyeliner, so I'm keeping that for that instead. But, yeah, where was I going with that? Yeah, I bought, um, some nail plates and stuff. Basically, it really sucks during this time of year for my wallet, because most of the cute, spooky launches happen, and then by that time, after that, it's holiday season, so, yeah. But yes, what are you all looking forward to most in the holiday season? You know, there's not a lot of fallout on this. I would almost feel very comfy doing my foundation first. Cool. Um, yeah, so what are you all looking forward to when it comes to fall? I think me, it's mostly the food because and the weather because I am trying to go out more. Um, I have a green eyeliner. What do I want to do? Do I want to do green? Is this kind of... Is this going to go... I mean, yeah. I might do a double eyeliner thing. We'll try it. Um, yeah, I'm trying to go out more. I went out to the ocean, actually, to initially get a gift for a friend. And then... Uh, I went searching for... Ah, uh, this isn't doing much. Oh, well. Uh, black is probably going to be better. Um, I was originally searching for sea glass, and I didn't really... I didn't really get much. It's a rocky beach up here, which I love, because I hate sand. Um, and my old ass went up some rocky crevices just to sit and enjoy the waters, and it was a really nice day to do it, despite, like, the holiday weekend because there was, like, nobody there, and everybody was minding their own damn business, and it was great. So, yeah, I got a few things. I um, took a bunch of pictures of the flora around there, which you'll see that in my blog post whenever I decide to post that. And, yeah, it was just a generally nice time. It wasn't too fuckballs hot. Although a moose fly... Uh, was, we had to, like, run to our car because the moose fly was after my SO. And if you don't know what a moose fly is, it's basically a horse fly, but the size of a cicada. And they liked the flesh. So we were like, oh god, it's after us. Um, uh, mostly him, for some reason. It found him more tasty than me. And we went to a chocolate factory, which was pretty nice. 
got some things for a friend and things for myself, of course, which I am going to feature in a snack time. So that's going to be fun. Not bad. I'll call that good. All right. Now I'm not fucking with curling my lashes. So we're just going to witch lash it up. Thanks, I hate it. All right. I think the eyes are done. Maybe. Probably. Good enough for me. Anyway. All right. Let's work on the base now. So. Ugh. Yeah. Where was I? Um, Chocolate Factory. We went to a lighthouse, which is kind of cute. Uh, Maine is very famous for its lighthouses, and it was a cute one. They had a little museum, they had a little gift shop, which was, you know, touristy and stuff. Um, let's see. And then we had a lobster roll for lunch, because that's what you do when you're in the touristy area. And it was very good, because I rarely get to eat lobster, because they're so damn expensive. Well, not... Okay. I say they're damn expensive because they get exported, and they don't, um, like, if you do it yourself, it's really cheap. Like, there's seven pounds, or seven dollars a pound, and if you do it yourself, that's like one lobster. You get a bunch from, if you got a source for them locally, like, um, ships will even, like, have places that they'll just sell their catch, and it's really awesome. It's just we never get the chance to do it, because we're so far away from the coast. Um, yeah. So, starting off with a bit of face blur, because that's the only primer that I've been using so far. Ooh, that's running. And my... And my blender isn't cleaned, so I'm just using the fingers. Maybe a brush if I can find a reasonable one. Because I'm kind of testing out my face makeup for this wedding, too. Because I'm going to look fantastic. Yeah, I know it's not my wedding, but it's going to be like the first time I'm wearing a suit. So it's kind of a momentous thing for me. And I'm going to pop on some concealer because my beard be showing. Come on. I've never tried color correcting before, so this will be an experience.tm. very thick. I have this one from Profusion. I like Profusion's eyeshadows. Um, haven't done too much with their concealers, so we shall see. He's doing the job. It's just very hard and waxy, and I'm not sure how I like that. But since I use such a pale uh, foundation, I can't really use like the bright red concealers. So, this is what I am working with. I'm also very red. Like, I wish my skin would figure out what the hell it wants. But, anyway. Um... But, yep. Nothing too, too exciting other than, you know, the book launch. Which is coming, which I still have yet to figure out semantics, and hoping that I can get things done when I can get them done. Fall, I'm going to really try to get my ass outdoors because I'm a homebody, and I really don't enjoy staying indoors when I need to be generally better about having an active lifestyle. I've got rosacea like no other. Call that good. A little spot concealer with some very, very separated color pop concealer. Um, yeah, so any like makeup y things y'all want to see? I know they're not quite my most popular videos, but I know a lot of people um, really do enjoy them, so I do. And I do like sharing my makeup y abilities, so they're not going away. But it's just I don't often have the time to dedicate to them. And now I'm like trying to get to the point where I don't have to do so much preparation in order to do my videos. Alright. 
do I have? Well, I've got a stippling brush that might do something. Alright, so I'm going to be using this NYX Can't Stop Won't Stop. It's very yellow toned, but it's very pale, so trade off. I've got a trick that I might be able to use to counter that. It's very plugged up. There we go. Come on. I don't want that bit. It's all dried and crusty. Like my soul. So. Yep. I can't be doing too much in terms of, like, new stuff, but I can always do, like, design ideas or anything. Ooh, that might be a bit nice. I probably should have cleaned a sponge. <laughs> it's nice that this stuff dries real quick, too. <sighs> Let's see, what else can we talk about? Um, yeah, there's not a lot, like, there's not a lot going on in my life, which kind of sucks. I have a, I'm a really boring person. I'm a homebody, and I don't do much. I, like, sit around, I do my work, I go to bed, I go to my appointments, and that's about it. Well, that's not too bad, it's just very dry. Which, I don't know. My skin is doing weird shit because of all of my hormonal changes and fluctuations and all that. So I don't know. I don't necessarily like the super matte appearances because I am I get dry and crusty. I add too much powder. I don't know. I haven't yet to master that shit. Um... And then I'm also, like, a sweaty bastard, so anything I put on tends to, like, immediately sweat off, so. And the nose. The nose is my troublesome spots. Whoo! That shows real pale on camera. It doesn't look as bad in person. Yes, I know. It isn't the best look. I like natural coverage. But, at the same time, with my beard showing up, I can't really be focusing on that. A little bit more on the nose in that area. Oops, not that much. Oh well. Um, yeah, so anyway, getting into the October Wayne stuff, I could do a makeup y thing, which is what I usually do. Um, I could do that live stream for my nail art. I could do an AMA, but a lot of the times I found a lot of people don't show up. Um, I could do another, like, reading your assumptions fall themed kind of deal if you want to do another one of those. That was fun the last time we had that happen. Um, so that might be, actually, yeah, that might be a good idea. What, about, what do you think about an AMA fall themed, uh, questionnaire? That was fun. Last time I ran that on Twitter and so Facebooks, that was fun. Eh, not too bad. Very powdery, but we'll hopefully hope a setting spray fixes that. Oh, I did have a blending. Oh God damn it! My blending brush was clean. All right, I'm going to try this lavender concealer as from uh, Sweet Liber Sweet Libertine as a setting powder, just to see what it's like because I like her mineral veils so much. But this one kind of has some concealing properties. Um, I saw Besame has like a lavender powder, setting powder as well, which I kind of really want to try. Um, especially since they launched their Sleeping Beauty line, and holy shit, that is so pretty looking. Oh my god. Like, I love the way the palette looks, and I like the colors that they pick, because while it looks muted and vintagey. It still looks something that you can do modern looks with, and they have a lot of modern examples on that, too, which I which I am just really, really into. So, I don't know. It's just one of those wish listy things, because honestly, I really don't need anything more. I have pretty much everything I could ever use, ever. But I'm a shiny crow brain, 
And... Yeah. That red's poking through, and I don't like it. Oh. Uh, so, yeah, plus that's like a $70 palette. 78 if you want the fancy display board, too. I didn't bring any... Highlighter. Alright. Let's have fun with some contour. Because... Yep. I'm gonna try doing some weird shit to be a little bit more masculine. I have the concept. I just need a little bit more practice with it. So, if y'all want me to do a more, like, an androgynous contour tutorial, let me know. Thing is, since I've been losing weight and getting a bit more toned, my facial structure is also showing, so it's a little bit more easier for me to do this kind of shit. But I still have a very round face genetically, like, that's not gonna change. So, but yeah, if that is something that you would be interested in, I don't know if I have any other trans followers, any, like, kings that I that follow me, I doubt it, but, you know, if it's something you want to do for Halloween one day, that'd be kind of fun, and I will be sure to oblige in that regard. Snatch that nose... I'm very good with the cheeks area. It's the forehead that I have struggles with because it's just not something that I do, but because I do this well and I don't do that, it looks very off balance. So I'm going to try something to kind of help that out a little bit. And I also don't want to look dirty, so... The shit out of it. I also find that this side of my face picks up pigment weirder and splotchier, which is really annoying. Oh, I love this blending brush. Nice. And a little bit of blush. A little bit of. Here. Nice. Nice. Okay. To top it all off, do we want green or do we want blue? Or do we want purple? I think we want blue. Whoop, too low. I'm icy. Using a probably a brush that's way too big for this job. But that's okay. I'm icy and I like it. Now a lot of people do, especially the masculine, do the chin to highlight to make it look more sticky outy. I hate that. I don't like my ass chin. So I tend to not touch it. Nice. All right. Last bit is the lips, and I'm not sure what I want to do. I am going to set first, though, because I got me... I finally got the good shit, because there was a coupon involved. And this shit's expensive, but I hope it will last me ten million years. Alright, I'm gonna do my lips off camera and then I'm gonna close off this adventure. Alright, this is my look. Finish it off with a little liquid suede in Disruptive, which is quite appropriate for me. Anyway, this is my face. 
I hope you enjoyed getting ready with me. I'm going to have a full review on that sugar pill palette because it's really nice. Um, and yeah, just comment down below any of your fall adventures that you plan on having, what you would like to see in my October Ween series. If you want to see a live stream with the nails, if you want a makeup-y thing, if you want a AMA with uh, Ask Me Anything fall-related themed... Um, yeah, just if there's any, like, foodie things you need me to try, let me know in the comments down below. Um, and there is going to be a month-long tutorial. I already know what I'm doing, it's just I have to do it and then break it up and do it. Watch it. So. Anyway, so, I think that will do it for me. Be sure to like up this video and subscribe if you want to see more bullshit from me. Thank you all to my patrons for supporting this channel. You guys are awesome! And look forward to the future tutorials, because I think you're going to like that as well. Be sure to follow me on all of my social media bits. Check out my blog for the release for Morning Ember. I'm going to have a more detailed video on that, so be sure you are subscribed. Look for that. There's probably a card thingy up here that'll show you, hey, here's my blog. So, look out for that. Thank you all so much for joining me, and of course, if there's anything I need to be trying out right now, Feel free to let me know down below, and I will see you next time.